Tell me, Sir Henry, what do you know of the legend of the Hound of the Baskervilles? Oh, it's just a pet story of the family. Pet story. Very amusing. And so to the practical point, whether it is advisable for you to travel to Baskerville Hall. Well, my answer is fixed. There isn't a devil in hell who could prevent me from going to the home of my own people. In that case, you should go to the moor, but permit us, if you will, to accompany you. Oh, gentlemen, it'll be my pleasure to indulge you. Oh, can we get out of here now, please? I'm going to explode. Sir Henry, we shall rendezvous on the morning train from Waterloo. Until then, remain highly vigilant. Goodbye. We must leave in haste. Holmes, look! There's a suspicious-looking man with a suspicious black beard getting into that handsome cab ahead. And come on, Watson! Hmm. Driver! Follow that cab! Faster! Faster! Sir Henry, what are you doing out here? Catch your death! Get back inside! He couldn't keep up. He had the towels, the bucket, a uh, shoe missing. No! The man with the beard in the cab ahead. Oh, I, I don't know. He just drove away really fast. Dash and bastards! If only Sir Henry hadn't delayed us. Who was he? Sir Henry, the squire of Baskerville Hall. We just met him in the sauna. Keep up, no, Watson. No, 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 no. The man in the cab ahead with the beard. I don't know. Spy? Well, Sir Henry has evidently been very closely shadowed since he's been in town. If only we'd got the number of that runaway handsome cab. Clumsy as I may have been, you do not imagine I neglected to get the number. Number 2704 is our man. Holmes, you're incredible. Could you swear to his face? I'll use any language you consider necessary. Never mind. 